everyone, it's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and I'm here today with a really really quick video. If you watch my um, October plans then you'll know that um, this month I've been selected of one, as one of the reviewers for Jennifer Lauren Handmade. Um, I'm on the Jennifer Lauren reviewer panel and like I've said before, every month she chooses a pattern and um, the selected few will get the pattern for free um, and, ex and in exchange for the pattern you review it for her um, and give her feedback on how you found the pattern and um, you know pros and cons so um, I am reviewing this month the men's Auden cardigan and I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like um, I've chosen to make this for my husband and uh, some of the things, um, she's very specific, um, Jennifer Lauren, um, that she doesn't want just gushing reviews uh, about her patterns. She wants the reviewers to be honest, so she gets an honest opinion on various things. And the things she's asked us to consider are the fit, the construction, uh, the instructions themselves, um, how you found um, the pattern because um, her patterns I believe are all uh, PDF patterns so printing the pattern and anything else that we can add uh, to our review so like I said I have made the Auden cardigan for my husband um, and here it is I'm gonna put in a minute some pictures up as well of him wearing it it is black I apologize so obviously it's really really difficult to photograph as you can see um, I went with, I think it was view one, which you can have a contrasting, um, let me see if I can get a bit closer so you can see, you can have a contrasting band, hopefully the light will shine on it, then you'll be able to see it a bit better, um, a contrasting band which goes all the way down the front on both sides, um, and um, I chose that view because I liked the uh, separate band with the facing, um, but I chose to do it in the same colour. I've used a black Pontaroma. Um, which is from Satisfaction, and uh, the Pontaroma is lovely. Like I've said before in my previous videos, I've used it for a pink molly top, and that was in my uh, September makes. And I've also used it to make a seamwork Astoria. So if you check back over my videos, or I can put the card um, thing in here or here, wherever it comes, um, then you can check back and see that Pontaroma. It's really good value for money because it is amazing. It's the nicest ponty I've ever used. So I would definitely recommend it. And I know she has it in lots of colours. Anyway, um, moving away from the fabric and onto the pattern. Um, yes, like I've said, and I'm holding it up really, really wonkily. Um, but hopefully the pattern, the uh, photos that I've taken will help you um, see the style lines. Um, it has these, a really nice feature and hopefully you can see that there that's a good the light shining on it it has a saddle shoulder so um, the shoulder curve if you can see there sweeps across the front and the back as it's the same um, it's very similar I think the juniper cardigan for ladies um, it uses the same style details which is really nice and like I've said it's got um, the separate band which also as you can see there has a facing um, which is turned to the inside. Um, it is just hemmed normally along the bottom and I've um, just twin needled around there. Um, it also, I've also uh, managed to master buttonholes on my uh, new sewing machine and they turned out really really well. So I've used a one inch button, um, really really basic, just normal, normal buttons. So. Um, I'm going to put a picture of him wearing it here. So the fit was really good on the torso. I think maybe um, if I was going to make it again, I might add maybe an inch, two inches to the length, but it is fine on him. But uh, yes, the body, the fit of the torso was really, really good. On the shoulders as well, it was really good. I went for a medium and I think he probably won't like me saying this, but I think he is a 42 inch chest um, and around his actual waist, I think he's about 34 and a half maybe, 35, something like that. So um, yeah, so I went with the medium and like I say, I didn't have any issues with the sizing. Um, the only thing I did need to do, and as you can see from the sleeves, they have a really long um, cuff um, and I had to take the sleeves in 
they fit really well now but I think I took them in by about an inch um, but yes other than that I didn't make any adjustments whatsoever he seems to really like it the only problem I have found is excuse me um, and I don't know if it is just the way it sits on his body uh, but the front right at the very front seems to ride up slightly um, maybe I stretched it I don't know maybe I don't know but it seems like you need to really sort of pull it forwards for it to um, sit straight when I have it on my mannequin or when I have it laying flat it all seems fine so you know maybe something to do with his shoulder shape or his back shape or I don't know but anyway he seems to really like it and it fits him really well so the um, so that deals with fit so moving on to construction the construction of this cardigan was really really easy um, you sew uh, the sleeves to the front panels first I believe and then the back and so then you have everything all together and then you um, sew all the way up the sides and the sleeves which then you're pretty much done you've got just normal cuffs the same as this added on and then the facing the facing is really easy to attach as well you attach um, the I believe you attach the front neckband all the way around um, which has a seam down the back in the middle um, attach that and then you attach the facing and then you stitch it stitch it down and then do buttonholes and hemming is really really easy so yes the construction was really good everything lined up where it was supposed to all the notches and everything lined up um, I really liked the feature of the saddle shoulders that's something that I haven't used before and um, actually I have used it before I've used it on a named pattern um, Geneva raglan tee that I made for myself and I have to admit I had awful trouble with the fit of that but that didn't have any um, that had a dart in the shoulder which I found at the time was quite a bizarre design feature and I didn't really understand um, if it was necessary and obviously it's not because on the um, on the cardigan there are no darts on the shoulders and it fits fine so um, yes I really liked that technique I thought it was really interesting there wasn't anything that was confusing about that um, obviously like I said the facing is um, facing is interfaced so that gives it a bit of structure um, and it's got fluff all over it um, you need that structure for your buttonholes otherwise they would be all loosey-goosey but I really like the way that there is a bit of structure on that um, you probably could if you were using a ponte you might just about get away without using interfacing but I prefer it just for stability for your buttonholes um, okay instructions as always and I'm not just saying this but the instructions are really really easy to follow there's diagrams for every step and I think um, Jennifer's patterns are brilliant for uh, beginner or um, adventurous beginner sewers because they hold your hand the whole way through I don't think there was anything that I didn't really understand at all obviously I'm a little bit more um, of an advanced sewer but yeah I think her patterns are really really clear the, the um, illustrations really help so yes I found that really really good and the instructions are always really really clear okay printing so it's PDF um, I chose to use the copy shop file and I had that printed by net printer of course um, and the thing I do like about it when you print although it's quite difficult from a net pin printer point of view because it just takes the whole file and doesn't select the uh, pages that you want it just prints them all um, but if you were taking it to a copy shop or you were using a service different to net printer um, Jennifer really really helpfully prints each view on separate sheets so um, you have everything that you need for that pattern actually on separate sheets and I believe if you use the print at home version it's layered I think I think but if it's not layered there is always on her patterns a helpful diagram at the beginning which shows you for which view which pages you need to print so you don't have to print the whole thing and then figure out which pages you need it actually gives you um, indicates to you which pages you need for which um, variation you're choosing so that is really really helpful and I really like that okay any other thoughts um, like I say the only issue that I had was with the sleeves coming up really wide but that was really really easy easy to resolve 
Um, and particularly because the torso fits so well, that's the bit that really causes you issue if you need to adjust it at all. Um, but yeah, and the shoulders as well, that would have been a bit tricky if they had been out. But yeah, really, really good fit. I really enjoyed the pattern. He said that he, whilst he feels like some kind of ninja when he wears it, apparently, um, he is really happy with it and I'm hopeful that he will wear it. Obviously, a Pontaroma, we're just coming into autumn here now, the weather's changing slightly. Um, I think he will wear it when he's, you know, at home sort of sitting in front of the telly. It's nice to have something to chuck on. So, yes, um, I really enjoyed sewing it. It really was, because um, I've sewn a couple of quite technical things. I've done a couple of shirts and my coat this month. So, it was really nice to sew something with really clear instructions that was relatively straightforward. Um, I don't think I got my quick unpick out once, apart from to cut my buttonholes open. So that is always the sign of really clear instructions and everything lining up where it should do. So all in all, um, it's a really, really great pattern and something different. If you are nervous about sewing for a man, I would say that this pattern is a really good one to start on because the fit is really, really good and everything's really simple. And you, you do have the option when you've actually sewn everything together before you put your cuffs on, you would ha have the option to try and your facing and everything like that. You have the option to try it on. And if it was too wide, all you would have to do would be to take in your side seams. So um, I think it's a good one from a fit point of view as well if you're a little bit more of a beginner. So yes, uh, really great pattern and I really liked it, really enjoyed sewing it. Okay, so um, I'll be coming next week with my makes for October, of which there are many, so prepare yourself. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I'm going to get everything finished that I said I was going to. There might be a couple of things that um, I don't get round to. But yes, I've, I have got a good makes video coming soon, so stay tuned. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you want to see more uh, videos like this, then click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!